A downtown city building was evacuated this morning after an explosive device went off and damaged a cluster of mailboxes inside a hallway. No injuries reported here, but an investigation is now underway with multiple agencies. Christian Garzone joins us now live from North Clinton Ave in Rochester with more. Christian. Well, Adam, police say this happened just after 7 this morning here at 87 North Clinton Ave for the report of criminal mischief with mailboxes inside the building. Now, investigators are still trying to figure out what kind of explosive device was used here. Police say several floors inside here had to be evacuated. The police bomb squad says there were no further explosive devices, with police adding there are no injuries and damage was limited to the mailboxes in a common hallway. Now, Catholic Charities and other other tenants are inside of here, but there is no information now suggesting who or what was being targeted. Janine Miller lives here and says it's been a rough few months here. Miller says there have been people inside vandalizing the property and very little communication from the property managers. She says the managers told the businesses here to evacuate this morning, but they did not inform residents. We never were evacuated. Um, we didn't even know what was going on until we received an email or if we happened to go downstairs um, like I did with my dog and <laughs> ran into the employees as they were being evacuated. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was very frightening this morning, especially when, you know, we didn't get any news. We don't, you know, know what's going on. So it's a, like a bank of mailboxes in a common hallway. So I know we, we have been asked a few times because we obviously have Catholic charities here. It's in a common hallway. There's also apartments upstairs. There's commercial locations on the first floor. So as of this point, it's, it, you know, there's nothing we can tell in terms of targeting Catholic charities or commercial business or anything along those lines. Uh, it's, it's a common area, so it could be involved with anything. Now, all of this is under investigation by police, the arson task force, and the U.S. Postal Service. Live in Rochester, Christian Garzone, News 8. Adam, Teresa, right back to you. Christian, thank you. Police are asking anyone with any information to simply call 911.